Hello viewers, today we want to learn more about the PowerPoint presentation. PowerPoint is all about presentation and advertisement. Uh, and one thing you should acknowledge about PowerPoint, do the presentation, uh, transitions, animations, and you can create a video using PowerPoint. In this case, uh, we need to advertise about search in infotech, which means search in information technology it is a center for ICT courses uh, some information you should make sure that uh, you put them is about when you're advertising you have to tell people about the name of a college uh, what the, the location what it deals with and for more information that is the name of the college as you can see there you have the location there as you can see at the location uh, then you have the courses offered. Those are some of the courses offered, among others. And you have, for more information, you have enrollment. And for more information, you have to give the contacts, the email address, and the website in case you have it. Still, you have to give some more information about the courses uh, payments, among others, and give some brief about that. Those are the four main topics that you need not forget when you are creating a PowerPoint presentation especially for an institution or for a company make sure you tell the people the name of the company or the location what do the product and services being marketed and for more information that is very crucial let's come to something called the uh, home menu the home menu as you can see here uh, in home menu we have a new slide and we have the layout as for this uh, you can see some of the layout there you can come and choose one of them and you have a new slide whereby you need to add four more slides for example there are four there are four slides i need to add the fifth one i can just click there and now you can see we have five slides to check the layout you can just click there and come you check the layout that you want for example i need this kind of a layout i can just do pull that layout uh, and now I have the layout like that and now I can type what I want in this I can just type information there I want and you type here or you put a picture you can insert a picture you can insert a table you can insert a chart smart art uh, insert a video among others those are some of the things PowerPoint can work on in this case, you can choose to delete the slide out layout you don't want. For example, you need to right click. Once you right click, you can just come here. You can uh, choose the option for delete slide. For the delete slide, just click and automatically you see now the remains are four. The fifth one have been deleted. Uh, something else you need to acknowledge is about the design here. You come and choose one of the design. As you can see, my design is here. Is the design, which is now the parallax. It's for the all sides. In this case, we have more sides. For example, this one. As you can see, this one. Uh, we have this one. As you can see, how those different sides and those uh, you can see now they are changing from one to another. And as you can see, we have various types of. We have various types of uh, design as you can see and you can still browse for more in my case you can see we have a variety of them you can choose and you can see their differences on top of that we have something called the uh, insert insert will help you to insert pictures uh, the screenshot and some more shapes in case you want to put more shapes and uh, something for example word art, you can just insert a word art in a side out layout number among others you can put either a video here insert a video here or you can put an audio sound is where you put and an audio sound and if you have the screen recording you can still put a uh, screen recording uh, bear in mind i'm using powerpoint 2016 so sometimes you use 2010 207 it differ from one side to another in some settings you can see some features still changes when you use different uh, the PowerPoint. But for this one, I'm using the most latest, 2016. Uh, in this case, uh, you can still see something called about the transition. 
transitions will help you to put the bridge it's like a bridge to link from one side to another from for example side a to side b or side one to three uh, side two to side three have to be linked with a transition so it means for example if i need to click there I just click the side four and i come here or this one and choose different side layout you can see we have gritters we have curtains we have prestige uh, we have cube among others those are some of them that you can gonna come and choose for example that one and now you can see uh, how it is behaving there is some for example one of those and you can just come and choose if you choose rotate you can see how it is coming out that is an example of a transition as for that one you can just choose that one and you can see how it is coming out that's how you can put a transition then don't forget to put now a sound for example that sound of a hammer you can just click there and choose a different one for example a coin and then from there we have a tick here you can see we have a tick for example on mouse click remove it and put add after then you adjust now it is always zero just try to adjust up to example four seconds those are more than enough those are how you put a transition uh, from transition you can put something toward animations animations we have as you can see it's inactive as you can see all of them they're inactive how are you gonna make it to be active just click one of the content to be effective for example i just click as you can see here click there uh, the enrollment and automatically now you can see it's active just come and click add animation and you can see uh, somewhere here down we have more entrance effect you can just come here and now choose the one you want for example that one i have chosen there uh, we have others for example we have this one for for, for raise up uh, we have uh, that one for raise up i have stretch as you can see you then you click ok now after that one you need to, to bear in mind that you have to come here start after previous don't forget to put that one so that you can come automatically click the content and uh, now we have this one coming uh, go to more into uh, entrance and now i choose for example we have that one for uh, we have that one is for grow and turn grow and turn as you can see that's how it grow and turn click ok and now don't forget go again to on mouse click and choose after previous we should continue to put like that even for a photo you can just click the photo and come and put the animation that you want for example that one is for this one for the swivel as you can see that is how it will be about the swivel and then just come here you put after previous click another photo and you do the same that is how we should work both of them until you see they are well uh, designed and well animation about that just put ok as you can put that one record don't forget to put after previous for this after previous click another one there and put now another animations as you can see we have more animations just come and put uh, for example that one and click ok click here and put after previous and you can adjust the delay for example like that and this one you can still adjust and pull like that that is how you work on that don't forget once you are through with that one you are required to go again and put emphasis uh, you come to motion path and you come to exit so it means you work entrance when you are through repeat with emphasis motion path and exit just by clicking and come and pull like that one and say okay uh, then you do again don't forget after previous this is how we should work until you see 
all your effects are well designed and we give a good a good picture for that until you see it is more colorful and give a better information and better presentation whichever you do don't forget to put after previous whichever you do make sure that after previous is well done then what you should not forget all that you can still put a watermark photo for example that one you can see you have a watermark photo there uh, which you can still put behind uh, once you put all the information there you can click save changes don't forget and uh, you continue with something else you put in the animation uh, we have transition now we have something called a uh, side show for this um, side show there you can just click there uh, once you click there now you can come we have current side layout you give uh, the effect for this one which i have done right now and you can just be in a position to preview and see how it's all about as you can see as how it is moving that's some of the effect i have done a lot of time let me just escape that one and now go to from beginning here uh, from beginning as you can see now that's how it presents itself in a very nice thing we have such a photonic center for ICT courses that will remain as the title and description then the, the description uh, we have now the location uh, for the main campus and the other one for the branch you can see how it is reflecting in case you see that there is a wrong delay should shorten the, the time that you are putting there for that one to be at least few seconds uh, sometimes you can see it is uh, going a very high speed try to make sure it be something that is a person can lead and get the information because the main if uh, the main is about who advertise and somebody can be a position to lead we have the transition exit as you can see now we have another entrance for the second entrance uh, we have the call the courses offered now you can see how it is presenting itself with different shapes and some information there you can see how nice it is displaying the information from one side to another Those are the courses they are just presenting themselves without no problem from certificate to diploma and advanced courses and now we have the last one which is now the enrollment uh, and now you can get some of the information about legislation daily in our branches in our branches with only 200 shillings, fees payable installment, certificate costs 3000, diploma 5200, and advanced costs 17500. For more information, you can see the information. When it's through, you can see there is something, some kind of information that I to tell you there. It's about head of sideshow. When you see this information about the head of the sideshow, uh, to avoid this one in a presentation here, head sideshow and click exit. You need to come here for a uh, side show then you click setup show and don't forget loop continuously until escape click ok and that one will avoid not to be to be in a position to stop it will be moving now from the first one up to the last one once it's through it will repeat itself automatically that's the main function of loop continuously until escape and now you can see it is repeat itself now and then when you leave you leave for 24 7 it will be repeating itself like that and from one advertisement to another that is about the powerpoint i hope you have enjoyed it more keep subscribing our our tutorial and get more information from one program to another and you can ask some of the questions that you maybe if you need for more verification thank you for watching and keep uh, contacting us on such kenya facebook and instagram searchm.kenya thank you and get more information 
appreciate for your comment and feedback.